Well, hello again folks and welcome back to the motorhome. Uh, today's Thursday, I've got Thursday and Friday off work because we're going down to Bristol today. We've got a Friday appointment at L&B Tow Bars to have a tow bar fitted to our new Burstner T660 motorhome. Well, new to us. We saw L&B Tow Bars at the Autumn Motorhome Show at the NEC. We were looking for uh, someone to fit a tow bar to our van so we could put our bike rack on the back because we're really missing having the e-bikes with us when we go away because of course we used to put them on the bike rack on the tow bar of the old van. And it turns out L and B were about the only people we could find that could do it for us. So uh, yeah, off to Bristol we go. Our original plan was to take the bike rack with us so that we could just check that it fitted once L and B had done the tow bar. But unfortunately, I just can't get it in our garage. It just won't fit uh, in around the other bits and pieces that are in there. I've taken out as much as I can, but there's some framing in there that sort of supports things under the bed. And yeah, I just can't get the bike rack in there. Don't really want to put it in the habitation area because it is a big old uh, rusty, greasy thing. So yeah, all, it wouldn't really uh, be very nice in here, I don't think. So I've had a think about it. I've taken a photo of it to show them when I get there. And uh, of course we did discuss with them what we wanted to put on the tow bar. So they are aware anyway. And uh, yeah, I can't really see that it, it wouldn't fit on. The main issue is going to be if the bike is far enough away from the van. I think I may have to turn the handlebars 90 degrees to mount it on. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed everything will be okay. Well, we haven't got far. We've stopped in a lovely lay-by by the A14 for some uh, croissants and tea. A bit of breakfast because we haven't had breakfast yet. Yeah, nice to be away again in the van, isn't it? Yeah, that's a lovely picnic spot. It's a fantastic picnic spot. Well, we've stopped again. Bit of lunch this time. Well, we have arrived in Bristol at L&B Tow Bars. We're not actually on the L&B Tow Bar site. We're just around the corner because uh, we can't pull up onto their hookup until they close at six. So I think Nikki's getting some dinner on, aren't you, darling? I am, yes. So there we go. She's made Moroccan chicken with Spanish rice and spinach, apparently. I made it up as I went along. I usually do. Look in the cupboard and see what I can get. <laughs> so our appointment with L&B Tow Bars is at 8.30 in the morning. No, 8 o'clock in the morning, I think. So, yeah, just as well we drove down today. We have pitched up outside the unit. There's hookup we're connected to and there's also an outside tap on the other side there. There's another motor home as well. So I guess they're having something done tomorrow, probably tow bar fitted as well. We're settled in for the night. Might go for a little bit of a walk later. It's uh, quite a strange place to camp. Not uh, the best view of campsites we stayed at, but yeah, very welcome to be able to stay here and not have to rush to get here by eight tomorrow morning. Goodness knows when we'd have had to leave to do that. We're up bright and early, it's half past seven now. We've got to hand the van over to L&B Tow Bars at eight, so we're just making a few final little roundups so we can leave the van with them. I think we're getting a little higher car whilst they do the tow bar. Well, the chap's been to see us. He's nearly ready to take the motor home in. Uh, one thing to be aware of is that uh, you can't leave anything running while they're fitting the tow bar. Obviously, they have to disconnect the batteries through the electrics. So we've got a full fridge. So 
Uh, fingers crossed our fridge holds up. So if you're coming to do this yourself, minimum stuff in your fridge I'd recommend. There you go, we've got a little car for the day. It's this uh, blue one, I think. Yeah, that's the one. Well, not a bad little car, this. Uh, we decided we're going to go to the National Trust place at Dryham Park, but uh, that doesn't open till 10. So we've come to the Crown Inn and we're going to see if we can get some breakfast here. Oh, by the way, I did show them the photo I took of the tow bar and the bike rack, and they're going to make sure they set the tow bar up so we can definitely fit the bike rack on. Well, that was a lovely fill-in breakfast. We've made it to Dryham Park, Dryham Durham. Park, Do you even say Durham. Durham, Durham Park. Durham Park. Yeah, and we're going to go for a bit of a walk. The lady did tell us though that we have to stick to the paths because the ground's so wet. And apparently, you said they are going to close it after today because it's so wet, didn't you, darling? Yeah, the gardens are open today, so we can have a look around the gardens, the house, and of course the coffee shop. Oh right, I thought this is had enough coffee this morning. Well, depends how far we're going to walk. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to be back at the uh, tow bar place by one, so we can't go on too massive a hike, but yeah. Well, that means I can't have another coffee because I will have to sit still and I won't be able to. <laughs> <laughs> you never can anyway. No, that's true. Look at that absolutely spectacular view down this avenue of trees, though. Imagine in the old days they would have gone through a, on a horse or cart through here. Yep. So that would be quite an entrance, wouldn't it? And it's very, very impressive, and that's one of the things that they always used to try and do to be impressive, didn't they? A well, bit showy off. Well, it certainly is impressive. It is a little bit blowy up here today and I haven't got my fleece on. <sighs> I've got the nice warm jacket that you gave me. Yeah, we got that up in, where was it we got that? Kendall. Uh, Keswick. Keswick, Keswick, that's it. And there's the big old house down there. Absolutely fantastic. What a brilliant a spot. cleaning job, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly would be, yeah. And there you go, that's the walk down to the house through this little wooded ravine almost. Oh, what a lovely place to come and spend some time while you're having your tow bar fitted. that hollow tree that is fenced off because of the snowdrops but you could climb in there couldn't you so there we go pretty much everything is that way look at that look stables look at that isn't that lovely nice old wooden dividers looks like they've got their own church up there as well I don't think we're gonna get to look in the house because the house doesn't open till 11 30 and we should really be starting to think about heading back to LMB tow bars by then but Absolutely fantastic grounds to look round. All oh, right, I think that's actually the back of the tea rooms, isn't it? It's probably outside seating for when you get some refreshments. Lovely pond here. Must be very nice in the summer. Fantastic. Daffodils to the left and daffodils to the right. And a rose in the middle. Oh, 
are beautiful, aren't they? Very mossy old tree here. It's like a great spot to sit around in the summer. Got a bit of low sunshine there. All closed off at the moment because the wetness. Yeah, there's an engraving done by Johan Kipp and I remember I did a um, course, well it's like a, a diploma really in historic building conservation and uh, that Kipp chap toured around doing engravings of all the 17th century stately homes. That's the one of this one. Where mum's leaning? Well she's cleaning the windows back there. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, that was great to look around there, even though we didn't really get to have a look in the house. We're gonna head back now towards the car because, uh, yeah, it's getting on for about 20 past 11. It's and, a shame uh, I would have liked to have seen the conservatory, which is obviously full of some tropical plants and stuff, which I love. Um, yes, yeah, massive I'd, conservatory. It, it is a massive conservatory, and they remind me of some of the times that I was living abroad, so all yeah. those tropical plants. I actually know more about tropical plants than I do. In our own country, that's a bit yeah. bad, isn't it? Bigger than our conservatory, isn't it? It is. I don't think I'd be able to get some of those in there. <laughs> a lovely blue sky. Fantastic weather today. Well, we're going to have a quick walk up to the viewpoint on our way back. Uh, there is a cafe up here. Nikki's a bit tired, I think. Uh, but she says she doesn't want any more coffee. She says she's had enough coffee. I think the world knows I've had enough coffee. You have to put up with me. Well, I think the official viewpoint is not accessible because the parkland's closed because of the wetness. But uh, that tree over there. yeah, not that, this new one, the far one. You think it's the tree over there? Yeah, over there might be the viewpoint. But there's still a pretty good view from here, so we're calling this our viewpoint. past this little uh, thing on the way there and it's an underground water chamber uh, to provide water for the house. There's four chambers under there, it's been archaeologically excavated. Yeah, fascinating. I think they thought originally it was a nice house but no, it's just for water. Yeah, very good. Well, I don't think it's quite ready, so we'll just rest up here for a while. We now have a tow bar fitted on the van, so on our next trip, we're looking forward to being able to take the e-bikes again. That'll uh, really help us to get out and explore a bit more around the campsites we stay at. You pleased, Di? Absolutely wonderful. Fantastic. And now we're going to head off to our next site. So we'll see you in the next video when we stay somewhere near Cheltenham, I think.